Hi everyone, today we're going to do a little bit of plantar anatomy and we're going to talk about heel pain. Yeah, alright. Thanks Amy. So, I was just discussing with Amy before we started this that um, I haven't really done that much surface anatomy of the plantar aspect of the foot and that I was hoping that I didn't screw this up. So, if, what we're going to do is because we're going to focus on heel pain, I'll just stick with the plantar anatomy that actually relates to the heel. And Amy may need to give me a little bit of a hand with her laptop if I'm starting to screw up. Uh, once again, we, we do these videos, they're, they're not really rehearsed at all. Okay, Amy, let's see if I can position this camera. Okay, let's um, let's get started. Okay, first of all, let's draw the calcaneus. So you can see all around here we've got fat pad. So let's palpate until we feel bone. So the calcaneus, we've got the, the medial tubercle, so the lateral tubercle, so it's going to come down around like that. Once again, this is all fatty pad. We need to reference the cuboid. So if we can find the calcuboid joint from the lateral aspect. Then we know calcane's sort of gonna sort of it's gonna sort of look like that, and then we're gonna have the, the cuboid bone coming plenally. All right, so we've got two layers of muscles that are going to attach to to the calcaneus. The second layer. What are we going to see? We're going to see, first of all, we really need to isolate the navicular because the tendon of flexor digitorum longus is really important. So the tendon's going to come through here. So for the digitorum longus, we're going to have the branch that's going to each toe. Two, three, four, and five. And the reason that tendon is important because quadratus plantae attaches to that, so we would have quadratus plantae attaching to that tendon. I think because as podiatrists we focus so much on the plantar fascia, we may only think, you know, may not be aware of all the other structures that um, attach to the calcaneus, and the reason for this little presentation. So, that's quadratus plantae. Then we would see on the more superficial layer, would see abductor hallucis plantarly as well. So you can see the muscle belly here. And obviously it's, it's attaching to the side as well. I mean, it's, it's a, calcaneus is a three-dimensional thing, but we will have fibers coming into that section, so. <laughs> You're doing all right. So that's abductor hallucis. Then we've got the abductor digitiquini. So it's going to come lateral calc. 
and it's important I'm going to go one step back and we should draw in the metatarsals And I'm Dr. Gigi De Quinn is going to come around the lateral aspect here. And it also attaches to the lateral aspect of the cuck. Then we've got on top we're going to have flexor digitorum brevis. So flexor digitorum brevis is going to be the first layer. It's obviously going to split into two, three and four as well. And then above that layer is the one that we're all aware of. And that's the, um, the plantar fascia. And the abductor hallucis is going to come around that way too. So it's tendon is going to come around like that. And the plantar fascia, we've got three bands. So if we dorsiflex the hallux, we can feel the prominence here. So where's the coming out of that well? Maybe we'll use green. So the plantar fascia, we've got that central medial band. And it will attach to the toes like that. And the lateral band will go to the fifth. So that is our general um, anatomy. So if we go through it once again, quadras plantae will be the second layer attaching to the, to the calcaneus. Then the layer above that, abductor hallucis, abductor digitiquini, flexor digitorum brevis, and then the plantar fascia is on top of that. And when you uh, dissect and have a look at it, the plantar fascia is almost stuck on the abductor uh, digitorum brevis muscle belly. Uh, so it's not like it's, it's free from it. There are adhesions uh, to that. And then we will have, obviously, a lot of fat pad around here.